In today's video, I'm going to cover all of the new building pieces in the Grounded 1.2 Super Duper update. Now, obviously, there's a lot of them, and this is probably going to have some spoilers in it. So, if you don't want anything spoiled for you, I suggest you probably don't watch the video, especially later into the video, there's a lot more stuff that gets spoiled. So, let's get started. First off, this is the one I'm going to cover first, just because it's kind of annoying to build. We have the Buoyant Foundation Ramp. Um, this thing is meant to go on top of the water, and it's kind of a ramp that goes up and over things, I guess. Then we have these pinecone roofs. Look at these things. They look beautiful, I can't lie. So we've got the regular roof, we've got the triangle one, we've got the curved triangle, we've got the inverted triangle, we've got the little, um, I don't know, half top piece. There's a new feature on controller, by the way, where you can copy stuff. Um, and I can't crouch anymore because it's the exact same bind. So if I keep doing that, you'll, you know why. We've got the dome one here, and then there's also a big feather peaked dome now, which is a lot taller than the regular domed version here. You'll see, um, see, this is what the regular one looks like. This is a brand new one, which is much, much taller than the regular one. Then the other types of roofs, we have a flat roof, and we have the triangle as well. Uh, when it comes to walls, we have these new triangle walls, which are slightly in the ground here, but you can see what they look like. We've got a grass one, they're called valleys. We've got a log. We've got a mushroom one, a clover, a crow feather, pine cone, and ash. So basically all the roof materials and all of the wall materials that you can fill in the little triangle gaps you always end up with in your builds. Next, we have the half clay foundation and half pebble foundation. So these are just half as thick as the regular ones. And we have the curved clay and pebble foundation as well. These are just curved versions of the foundation, which currently... Uh, well, which didn't exist before, and people were annoyed because you couldn't build curved walls on a curved foundation. Well, now there's curved ones, okay? We have the new Mushroom Stairs B, which is a different variation of the Mushroom Stairs from before. These ones you can't see through as well as the previous ones, and they're basically all Mushroom Brick, so it's just Mushroom Brick to craft. And then we also got separated into just Acorn Stairs as well. So there's regular Acorn Stairs with weed stems now, um, which are also very different. And then you've got the um, triangle stairs that go up. This is each variation of them. I really like the way the um, mushroom ones look, actually. Uh, and then you've got the acorn ones, and you've got the triangle down ones. Again, the mushroom ones probably looking the best out of all of them here, to be honest. And you've got the half triangle ones that go up and down. There aren't mushroom variations of these for some strange reason, probably because they look very weird. And then you've got the half acorn stairs, which are also new, because obviously the, the acorn stairs in general are new. Um, then we've got these things. These are called awnings, which is basically just little roofs that are built on sticks. These are pretty good in the sandbox. You'll be able to use these as cover, um, which will be really, really useful. You won't have to build like a wall, then a roof. You just build this thing and it's like a little umbrella. There's um, square versions. There's triangle versions like right here. And then there's um, other ones that have like two supports instead of one support. They're very strange, but they're cool. And then finally, I wasn't sure if these were new or not, but we have the curved sprig and acorn fences. I think they're new. I don't remember seeing them before, but I might just be imagining things. They might not be new at all, but I picked them out anyway, just in case they are new. That's all there is in terms of building pieces. Now we're going to move on to the furniture that goes inside of the houses. First, we have the brand new bunk bed, which looks very, very cool. It's basically two of the feather beds on top of each other. And we have the petal bed, which I have to admit is beautiful. It's basically a four poster bed. It's got little cute designs on it. Let me crouch here. There's a little mant sleeping uh, and a little moon as well. There's a lot of detail in this furniture that a lot of people miss. And it's a nice purple and red color because of the flower petals. Then we've got the new large storage chest. This one has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 60 slots. Whereas the regular storage uh, chest that we had previously only had 40 slots. So essentially 1.5x the size of the previous chests, which is very cool. You can obviously name these just like you can the regular chests. We then also have the brand new uh, grass and weed stem palettes. The grass palettes are based off of uh, aphids. And they have little grass symbols and aphids and aphid heads on them. And then the weevils is what the weed stems are inspired by. You've got little weevil art, little weevil heads. And uh, these things are a lot bigger than the previous ones. Let's see how much bigger these pallets are, shall we? So we have a regular weed stem pallet here. This one is filled up. I don't know how much is on it, but we'll find out when I pick it all up. So let me pick everything up off this weed stem pallet. 15. We'll put 15 on here. 
And then let's pick up the rest off here. Six. So this one holds 21 weed stems. 60, 60 is the limit. Okay, so the weed stem palette can hold 60 weeds now. The previous one could only hold 21. So that's three times as big. Okay, so we have a full grass palette here. Let's see how much we get when we take it all off. So we'll start with the first 15. Oh, they stack in layers of four now instead of layers of three. Very cool. Okay, so 15 plus 9. So the old pallet held 24 grass planks. Let's see how many we can get on this new one. Something tells me it's going to be a lot. Let's add another 15 from 55. Oh, it won't let me add any more. So the total is 60. So both of these have a limit of 60 planks. These before had 21 and um, whatever the other number was. 20, was it 21 on the weeds and 24 on these, I think? And now they both hold 60 each. Uh, it's a bit weird that these go, this one goes over the top of the limit, and this one doesn't even go, like, to the top at all, but I guess they're both full, so 60 each does make sense to have them both be the same. Next, we have the new fireplace items that's been added. We've got the hearth, as well as um, four or five different pieces here. You've got the clover roof chimney, the regular chimney, the feather chimney. There's no pine cone roof chimney. That's probably something that's going to get added, because it makes no sense not to have. We've got the half chimney and the... Um, chimney with the with the vent on top with the actual chimney on top of it then over here we have the chandelier all of the new lighting stuff i'm going to show you here can be changed like any other lights in the game to have any color you possibly want so you can go for as much color or as little color as you like you've got the chandelier here that's made out of toenails you've got the ant candle the spider candle who looks like he's being gagged um and we have the two Mant Braziers. These actually can't be customized on the color of the lighting, unlike these three can. Um, but they still look very cool. This one's this one's crouching down. Uh, this one's taking the knee. Uh, BLM and all that. Then we have the pine cone table here. Again, it's all about the intricacies of the design. You've got little red ants on here and little aphids running around screaming. Little patterns everywhere. It's just so beautiful. It's like a like a proper table, you know? You've got all the little mantis rule mant's rule okay i didn't even see that on the table to be honest screw the man the man's dead i wonder if there's anything on the bottom of the table now i want to know so the first set of shelves we have here are the acorn shelves on the right this is what they look like when they're blank this is the first design pattern here with the aphid and the weevil and the open book with the mant and tadpole and aphid and weevil inside you've got the cool s it wouldn't be a drawing if you didn't have the cool S, am I right? And then we've got shelf number three here, which is a bunch more books and a gnat carved out of wood. And then the bottom shelf is another aphid, um, some uh, shinobi sneeze, and uh, a bunch of other cool little decorations. Next, we have the koi scale shelves. Uh, and then shelf number two here is what it looks like. You've got a tadpole and a koi carved out of the plating and um, a bunch of little decorations with books and stuff. You've got the exact same book design here, nothing different, don't worry. And then on the bottom shelf, or on this shelf here, sorry, there is, what is that? Meant to be. I can't tell what this is supposed to be. Maybe leave it in the comments. I actually have no clue what that's meant to be. Uh, and then on the bottom shelf here, we have the tadpole again. We've got another shinobi sneeze and a bunch of like paint and stuff and some lily pad wax too. And then when it comes to the final shelf, we have the pine cone shelf. Top one is always blank. And then we have, um, these are carved out of a material that doesn't exist. You've got a black ox beetle and a roly poly here. Uh, again, the same design inside the book, nothing different. Um, we've got the next shelf is like a, it looks like a ladybird or a scarab maybe. Uh, another black ox beetle, uh, like a basketball, which I wish existed in the game, but it doesn't. It'd be really nice if that was an actual item. They're teasing us. Another basketball looking item. And uh, this one's a roly-poly again on the bottom shelf. Moving on next, we have the pupa couch. You can get two people on this couch, I do believe. Um, very, very nice looking couch to finally have in the game. Uh, I've been making couches in my hide-and-seek room using multiple armchairs, and uh, this will look much better. We also have the trash can, which I don't know how this works, to be honest. If I put stuff in here, does it disappear? It just stays in there. I don't know if it will trash stuff over time. Um, they didn't really mention how it works, or if it just stays there, or how, how it does things. Um, then we have the dressers. So you've got the small dresser here. This one has 50 slots. You've got the tall dresser, which has 50 slots, and the armoire, which also has 50. These all have 50 slots. Again, it's all about the details. This one's got a little smiley face on it. On the side, though, you've got like a curled-up roly-poly. 
Uh, there's nothing on the back, another roly-poly on the other side. This one here, you have, like, uh, the broodmother on the side coming down to get, like, a gnat and a couple of aphids at the bottom. Uh, same design on the other side, probably, yep. And then you've got some fireflies, some mosquitoes, and some lava on these engraved into the front. Nothing on the sides or the back, and nothing on top either. Next, we have the picture frame. Uh, this is another new one. You can put literally any of your sign frames into a picture frame instead now, which is slightly smaller and very, very cool. Obviously a good decoration for the shelves that you could literally add yourself. Uh, then we have the new statues. You do need to collect these from around the map. You can't unlock them any other way other than collecting them. I do have a video on where you can find those. So this is the aphid statue, the weevil statue, the koi statue, and then these are all made out of like acorns, and then these ones are all made out of plating. You have the Mant statue, the Wendell statue, he's very wrinkly there. You've got the um, Yoked Girth statue, this is probably one of my favourite ones, he's looking very, very cool. Sword in the Stone type vibes. And you've got the Moldork statue, and uh, it's nice to see what Moldork finally looks like. We've seen his head over on the castle, but we don't know what he actually looked like until now, and... Um, He's like an orc, I guess, probably from the board game, right? We have some new vases here. These are very, very nice um, looking vases. Uh, D and E cost clay. F, this one here, costs supreme whetstone. So a big flex if you got this in your house, because it's not cheap. These ones are uh, very cool, very different, unique patterns from the others, and they have some nice colouring to them as well. Then we have the hot tub here. You can finally do a hot tub stream in Grounded. Um, this also gives you a buff which will regenerate your health just like the hot charcoal springs water does. It's the exact same buff, which is very, very cool. We have a gong here. I think my game audio has been off this whole time. It has. Here's the gong for you. Very, very cool sounding gong. Uh, we got the mant on top doing the splits and a couple of mants holding him up as well. A uh, pair of underpants on, uh, on the image. Let's give the gong another hit. And then we have the new stuffed uh, and trophies. So we've got the Wasp Queen head mount, the regular Wasp head mount, the Infected Gnat, which is brand new as a head mount. There was only a regular gnat before, which I think was a thing they didn't mean to do because there was always a little dot icon above the gnat trophy here, but there wasn't anything you could switch to. Now you can switch it to the Infected Gnat. We have the Grub mount and the Aphid finally gets his own trophy. You'll love to see it. And then we have a stuffed grub. And then we have a stuffed wasp queen who is huge and a stuffed regular wasp. There is actually two more builds that I almost forgot. We have the infected wolf spider head mount and the infected wolf spider are actually in the game now. Uh, these were not previously in the game, but they finally added a stuffed and a trophy version of the infected wolf spider. That is every new building item in the new Grounded 1.2 update. There was a lot of them, I know. I tried to cover every single one of them. I don't think I missed any. If I did, let me know in the comments and I can cry about it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.